actually open my box and to show you what's inside. Welcome, my name is Esther and you're on my channel. This is Esther at stampinstarcreations.co.uk. So the excitement is over a box for demonstrators that will attend the Stampin' Up! convention called On Stage. Um, if you want to know more, then you might want to drop me a message or leave a comment after the video. So as a demonstrator, I get to share my love of crafting and stamping. I get to sell the product, but it means so much more. It's about community. It's about uh, being part of a team and a, a Stampin' Up! family, really. So um, I'm going to show you what's in said cardboard box, which comes in a nice massive cardboard box like this. And inside is plenty of goodies. There's also the opportunity to pre-order, pre-order, ladies and gents, if you're going to on stage, um, a particular suite that's coming out in next year's catalogue. So if you're one of these people that, you know, like surprises beforehand, if you're one of these people that like to open their Christmas presents early, maybe you should become a demonstrator <laughs> so you can get to enjoy the experiences now. It's got to be right for you, but yeah. I've got a lovely team going, so if you want to know more about becoming a demonstrator and being on my team, then let me know. I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to say hello to those joining me live. Oh, you can't actually see anything. Great start, right? So you appreciate it while you can. Stay this tidy for long. <laughs> okay, let's get in the box. Let's get in the box. I'm going to call my other device so I can hopefully catch up with who's here. So nice big cardboard box. This year it got posted like this and it got a little bit dented, but I'll forgive them. So I'm going to take it off to this. Oh no, you can still see everything that's going to be in the box. Let's bring you down a bit. Okay, skip ads, skip ads. Right, hello, Deborah, Katrin, Wendy and Ellie. Ellie says I can't wait for this. Hi to Lisa. Um, uh, hi, Cindy. Hi, Catherine. Welcome, Elizabeth from... Salt Lake, Utah. Do shout out if it's your first time and we can do your wave or hello. Now, I don't think I'm zooming in and out. I think I'm good. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit. So in every box, you get a lovely, I say personalised message. It's a message to everybody who's received the box and this comes wrapped on the inside. But yeah, that's just uh, by the way. So Sarah is our um, CEO. I will show you, remind me to show you in the box as well, because everything is just so beautifully done. I'm going to get straight to the point with the beautiful stamp set. <laughs> it's called In The Moment. It's that lovely sketchy style that we've seen before. And just take a moment to take in the sentiments and the pictures. Um, you're in my thoughts. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. You're always so good to others. Be good to yourself too. Lovely. I mean... Those are kind of sentiments that I would put on a card and send to somebody. Um, we've got the lady sitting on the dock of the bay <laughs> in the window. We've got the lady with the wine in her hand. I can imagine some of you, you know, looking out there with wine in your hand. And the lady chilling on her bed, the cuppa and her doggy. Very cute. Ellie says it reminds her of the good man set. Now, if I had that to hand, I could do a little comparison. But yes, it's the same kind of sketchy artist. So red rubber. Always nice to have. And I'll, I'll give you the sizings in a minute because sometimes I think when you see things on the screen, it's a little bit tricky to get a sense of the size of it. So you stick your own stickers on the back and I've had a very quick play. So I will show you. I, I happen to have this piece of card on my desk. I went ahead and stamped it in the same colours. Um, okay, sizing. So we're looking about in inches, two and a half inches across by oh mm, yeah about two and a half inches by two and a half inches which is about six centimeters okay and this one I would say is just a bit under I'd say two and a quarter by two and a quarter and this one is oh we're reaching out a little bit more so mm, my coloring in this yeah, just tight on the two and a half. I'd say more like two and three quarters and you're good. OK, so what do you think about this stamp set? Um, I just I can't help but imagine them by the sea. <laughs> so um, some of you are really liking this. Thank you for sharing out this video. 
I think when it's coloured in, it really gives you a sense of, of what it can look like. Obviously, you can colour in different colourways. Um, you could do different skin tones, different hair colours. Um, it's up to you how you use it. And there's different ways of colouring it. You can use colouring pencils. Here is, I had some um, bits on my desk I was clearing down and I made this one. As you can see, I've cut out the word relax from here. So you don't have to use your stamps um, you know, just as they're scripted, you can use them a different way. And I've cut this out with a circle, so um, with a polka dot dress. I've just got a glass of white wine in that one, or whatever you want it to be, Prosecco, white wine, whatever. Okay, so hopefully that gives you some idea of what the stamp set looks like. The, um, not the preposition, what's the word I'm looking for? The proportion, proportion, darling, on the, <laughs> on on a A6 card, um, UK and uh, Australian is the word I'm looking for. Right, I'm just going to fix my quality of my video because it's really bugging me when I can't see it properly. I, am I coming through loud and clear? Hopefully. Right, so in my swag box, you also get, I've taken everything out of the plastic, um, these swapping pins. So this is like a, got a double back pin, which gives you the onstage at home logo which is the same as a box very nice it's like a very vanilla color then they are different pins so depending on what you get in your box you can use the event to get in touch with other demonstrators and swap your pins so if you weren't so keen on it or you were particularly eyeing up another type of pin you can do that and pin swap so it's very exciting ellie's already putting her request in for a red red wine in the picture <laughs> Catherine says this is so lovely especially with emphasis on self-care at the moment yes Paula says she loves the reading one. Know who I could send that to, she says. That's nice, isn't it, when you have people in mind to be able to send it to. We've got a whole set of pencils, two, four, six set of pencils. I pulled these out ever so briefly earlier. They've taken the time to sharpen them. You know, sometimes you get those pencils and they're not yet sharpened. It kind of bugs me a little bit because you're there having to sharpen them before you get to the, the point. Now, we'll just take this designing this looks as if it is from oh i don't know do we think it's art in bloom the flowers look like art in bloom don't they they look like this stamp set here but that sprig looks like it's from something else so there's a bit of a mixture so oh that's interesting ellie says i thought they were not sharpened for safety but i suppose because they're in a box you can get away with it. And they come with a rubber end. Now, sorry, an eraser. I've got to be careful what I say because that means something else in a different country. I'm just going to do a... Sometimes the eraser on the back... Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Sometimes they, they're they a bit... um. You know what? Uh, you know, what's the word? A bit scratchy or a bit rubbery. I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just digging a hole for myself. Let's talk about the colours. I reckon pale papaya... Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather, oh, any guesses on that one? Garden Green, Misty Moonlight, oh, I don't know if we have a colour like that, but it's very pretty. So, enough pencils to keep you going. I'll put them there. <laughs> Dirty erasers. Granny Apple, yes, I suppose that's, that's probably as close to Granny Apple as you're going to get. Look at this unusual um, notebook. It is five inches across by five by seven. And look, it opens sideways. How fun is that? I don't think I've ever seen a notebook like it. Um, it's lined all the way through and it's got that um, Sampin' Up logo on it. So you can literally use it for you, whatever you want. I wouldn't like to guess how many pages are in there, but a good few. I'm not going to count them, but yeah, nice thick pages. You're all guessing what colour the... I reckon Granny Apple Green is probably the closest because it's quite a bright green. Thanks for your guesses. I appreciate you guys. Wendy's colour blind, so it won't help. <laughs> oh dear. Right, have I missed anything else? Great for left-handers. What, the notebook? There we go. Right, so notebook and pencils so that you've got uh, something to take your notes when you're actually at the event. Can we just have a moment, please, for the bag? Da, da, da. Like the way it opened, no cereal to get in the way of your hand when, what? <laughs> right, when writing. 
no cereal to get in the way. Spiral, no spiral, right? Let me let me just translate what Cindy's trying to say, everybody. I like the way it opens, no spiral to get in the way of your handwriting. Yes, that's a good point. Because I mean, if you're writing like this, and it's nice and thick, so that when you lean on it, you don't have a thin bit and a fat bit. You, you've got the do you know what I mean? Anyway, let's let's move on. <laughs> let's move on from the notebook. Look at this bag and yeah. Let me just open it. Let me just bring you back a bit. It's long. I've given you a peek on the other side already now. Look, it's got these gorgeous, I'll say beautiful, and it turned to gorgeous, but gorgeous B on the back, which I was like, oh, we've got a new B stamp set, but I'll show you where that probably comes later. You've got these lovely, uh, are these? Give it a sniff. I don't think they're, it's not real leather handles, but leatherette handles. You get your free silicone bag. <laughs> look, stamp, look at that, stamping up label. It's a jute bag, so you've got that lining in it, and you've got your extra pocket here. Now, just a moment to mention that one of the first things I did when I got it was, I wonder if it would fit my trimmer in it. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to say, stamping up, I've done it again, and it actually fits the trimmer in it. Oh, yes. Um... So, I mean, at a stretch, so you're kind of doing it at an angle, but it will fit in there. So if you're trying to quickly bung stuff in a bag that you need, it just gives you an idea of the sizing, okay? So, um, nice shoulder straps to hang like so. Oh, let me just read out that comment I've just seen. Catherine Brown says, I save those and add some trinkets and use for shaker cards. Catherine Brown, thank you. So that's a good idea. She uses the inside of these to use her shaker cards with reinka. So you can colour them in with your reinka. Lovely. Uh, Wanda says, cute. My upline named her group Busy Bees. Busy be Busy Bees. I want I want the bag. It has a bee. I love bees, says Claire from Cheeky Monkey Crafts. Um it is a good shape. Don't you just, I mean, just love a bag. I've, I have kept all my Stampin' Up! bags and I do use them. So, uh, yeah, very handy. Okay, that's the bag. Now, I don't know if this was meant to be in here, but I not go, got one. I got two. <laughs> I was rather excited. Can somebody tell me if they got two grid papers in theirs? Or am I special and happened to get two in, in mine? I was like, oh, I got two. <laughs> That's a great bag for boot sales, says Kay. Yes, Kay, but I think I need a bigger bag than that. <laughs> Lots of bags, okay. Oh, sorry, knocking this stand. So this is cool because you've got one side centimetres, one side inches, and this gives you a bit of a sneak peek into a certain design. <laughs> Ellie says... Um, you're always special in my book, Esther. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes, I need my car boot trolley, yes, for boot sales. So the other side is plain. So if you really just want a plain side or, you know, once you've used the pattern side or don't want the grid side, you could turn it over. You get one, two, three, four, five sheets. Can somebody who's got this tell me if they've got an extra one? And I do like a bit of cardboard, honestly. The cardboard comes in handy. Don't knock it. <laughs> so that's that. I'm just going to show you the box and then I'm going to go on to home and heart. Look, that's the inside of the cover. And then the bottom bit has got the Stampin' Up! logo with the lovely green. And then you've got this around the edge. It's just really beautifully designed. Take a moment. Take a moment to appreciate the design of the box. Now, I've, I've displayed my other one, so I'm going to keep that one for display. Oh, Julia can confirm that she only got one grid paper in hers. So there you go. Thank you, Stampin' Up! I am special. I managed to get two out of that. So there we are. I might have to just save it for my lovely workshop ladies. Right. Because I'm attending um, on stage, I had the opportunity to pre-order a suite that is coming out next year in the 2022 mini catalogue. Okay. It's called... I looked it up. I think it's called Home and Heart. Home and Heart. 
Let me just check. Heart and Home, maybe? <laughs> I think it might be called Heart and Home. So here's the stamp set, okay? It's a lovely, sketchy, detailed stamp. I've not stamped this yet. I've saved it to show you guys. It's a cling stamp. This particular stamp set is called Blessings of Home. We've got Thank You for Inspiring Me. Have a perfect birthday. We can get through anything together. What a beautiful day for love. You are a real blessing to everyone around you. It is a beautiful stamp set. Um, so red rubber, you get seven stamps. Yes, yeah, seven stamps, but very large images. So let's give you an idea of this size. So it's, about, it's four and a quarter inches high. Uh, the widest point, which is about 11 centimetres by about three inches across or about seven centimetres across. 11 by seven again, okay? And then another image here, which is about three and a half inches high by about two inches. So really nice size fonts, actually. Some stamps that just you know, to have a medium size stamp, I quite like that. So um, in order, once if you get a stamp set and you're like, okay, what do I do with it? You, you peel off the backing, like so. And they're slightly stuck to the rubber. That just keeps them in, okay? Good morning, Margaret. This is the first time I've seen you live. It's 1.30 in Sydney. I might not stay long. No worries, Margaret. Lovely to see you. Do welcome, Margaret, everybody. She's probably rather sleepy. Linda, what are you doing? Party pooper. Silica gel can be toxic. Uh, okay, we'll look into that about shaker cards. Be careful who you make shaker cards for because we don't want to kill people off. Okay, one of the easiest ways to apply your stickers, which are rather sticky, to your stamp is to peel the whole sticker off. Hi, Tina. Hi from Australia. I've been playing with mine all evening. <gasps> How exciting. Welcome. Nice to see you. Um, what have you been making with yours, Tina? Okay, ready fluff mine. Why am I getting my ruler out? It's not what I want. I've cut my nails as well. This is not good. Oh, I'm glad you're well, Linda. Linda. You watch Ruth and you love her work. Ah, oh, Ruth be my sister, which you probably all know. But in case you don't. Okay, so then you turn it over and we can line the the sticker lines up perfectly with the <coughs> excuse me. With the stamp. And then carefully peel off the whole thing. And then it's ready to rumble. Okay, do you know what? I'm really tempted to stamp that and I'll do that in a minute after I've shown you the other things. <coughs> Right, so we've then got matching dies in here. Take a moment. So let's have a look at this. So we've got a lovely large, I don't know if I take these all off, I'm going to lose them. <laughs> got a lovely large die that cuts out, oh, it's not to scale. So just check in the front of the box, it will tell you. So this is 90% scale because it couldn't fit it on. But this will cut out your image once it's stamped. I'm doing it the wrong way around. I mean, imagine cut, cutting around all the little fiddly bits. You don't have to. If you get the die set with it, it's 10% off, okay? So you've got the die to cut that out, and you've got the die to cut this flower. But wait, there's more, okay? You get... Hi, Heidi, nice to see you. Um, Cindy says she has the silicone packs and puts it in her tennis shoes to control moisture when not wearing them. Great tips for the silicone baggies. I've also heard that you could put it along your windowsill and in your car to help with condensation. You get a lot of spriglets in this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus these little flowers. So you can do some really lovely building up. You could do some swags. You could do some bows. You can do some florals. Lots and lots of different things you could do with that. So, and you can really mix and match it with your set. I really like the little spriglets, they're lovely. Um, hi there, Carol, lovely to see you. Okay, the silica beads are very toxic in very huge amounts. My dog once got a package years ago and vet said he would 
need to eat buckets for it to have toxic effect. Don't we love a sprigler, Ellie? Yes, we do. So just rather than taking my advice, please look online and use with discretion. I don't want to be giving wrong advice, but I just like the idea of them being reused in shaker cards. But uh, yes, just check out the toxicity. Now, I'm very excited about this next thing. Classic matte dots. You might be like, yes, but they're not very exciting. They're very boring in colour. No, they're not. These are so practical. Hello and good morning, Sylvia. Joanna loves a sprigglet too. Well done, Joanna. You could be my club. <laughs> We've got... A pretty, does it say the colours? No. Uh, 144 little gems. Now, do you know what would be better? Is if I actually... I'll show you a way to cut it, then I don't have to keep opening the... I normally take these completely out of the packet anyway, so it doesn't matter, but... Save me getting sticky if you cut up the side and pull these out. I'm very excited about these because... Ah, right, okay. So we've got two... We've got four millimetre and three millimetre dots. But we've got basic black, basic grey, very vanilla and basic white. So I love these. Joanna says she loves matte dots too. Um, so this came as a whole suite, so you can get the, um, we could get to pre-order the stamp set with the dies, the matte dots and the papers that I'm going to show you in a moment. So the dots are just so handy to have very vanilla dots to go with your very vanilla paper, very handy. Yes, you can colour them in if you really want to. And to have grey, um, I was speaking to Kay earlier and she said that they would be great for masculine cards, <coughs> which is a great point. And I love the little black dots. They're just handy to have in your stash. So loving those. I think they'll be very popular. Great little addition to have. And with 144, there should be plenty enough to keep you going. I'm just going to tuck them away so I don't ping them all off in one shot. Hey there, hubby. Nice to see you. Right, I'm going to... Oh, there you go. I did it. Right, paper time. If you're oh now the other thing that came was the denim ribbon because I think they you're going to use this in the project so you might think yeah but we've seen denim ribbon before it's already in the catalogue you'd be right so I like to pinch together to get under the plastic okay black and white is a very classic combo says Ellie I love the denim ribbon I think I've used my first roll up it's super soft and again great for those masculine cards or just for you know, cards in general. Just denim in general. It's just beautiful. Right. Um, so, paper. Let's have a look at paper. I did fan this out earlier, but I'm going to just turn that over. Let's do the fan. Do the fan. So you bend it and you stretch it and then you get a look. Get a bit of a fan thing going on here. Oh, and look at these in detail on both sides. So you've got one side and then the other side is a textured um, grey side, okay? So stop me if you want to look at anything, but I will just talk you through these. So this paper is called Heart and Home. It's 12 by 12. You get 12 sheets in here. So the colours that are covered are basic grey, cinnamon cider, fresh freesia, garden green, misty moonlight, pale papaya and white. OK, so this is a new suite that's not yet out, Sylvia. Um, this will come out in the 2022 mini catalogue. But because I'm a demonstrator and I'm going to the onstage convention event, I get to pre-order it early. So it's all very, very exciting. So if you love bees and you love cinnamon cider, this one's for you. That's where the bee comes from. Very pretty. Now, my camera is not picking up the true colour, I would say. Let me see if I can draw my curtain. No, it makes no difference whatsoever. It's much deeper in real life. Um, so that's the B paper. And then this is what featured on the... Oh, no, it wasn't this one. It was the one similar. Paper hug says she's a paper hoarder. Uh-oh. We've got to do something about paper hoarders. Ellie's asking me, have you had a copy of the Mini and Celebration catalogue? Not yet. That comes after on stage, I believe. So here we can see a paper pile. Now, I've just noticed it has actually got texture in between 
on the white bits. It's not picking it up on the camera. But you've got these lovely spriglets of paper. These papers go together really nicely. So again, I'm getting nicely and beautifully mixed up for your fresh freezer lovers. Now, this is very similar to, whoops, the daisies, the um, spriglet that's on here. I don't think you can cut it out, but Esther's going to have a look and investigate. Oh, they stick it down fast, don't they? Right, it's the same design, but not the same size. So you can't go cutting that out with that particular die. Okay? You've seen it here first, okay? <laughs> Paper Hugs, what's your name? Welcome. Um, you're getting yours in cribs and crabs. <laughs> cribs and traps. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Why do we have a spanners next to our name? Ah, you are an official um, admin, so you can do things that nobody else can. I've made a few of you admin because those of you who are on here regularly, I've made you admin. Okay, uh, this is really, I like this one, uh, Misty Moonlight. And this, this is just nice and masking cards, particularly. I can see myself making a card for my dad for this lovely paper. So let's just have a look at, so it's about two and a quarter inches high, just so you get an idea, and about six centimetres high. Molly, welcome, nice to meet you Molly. Where are you from Molly? Do do chat away in the chat, it's lovely to have new people on the channel, and if you, um, you can subscribe and hit the bell and you can find out what I do with this and I do a live once a week as well not at this time Tuesdays at nine o'clock in the evening British summertime we're still just about in British summertime this is lovely this is the what was features on the box and on the um grid paper anyone else new there are a few new newbies in here so just do a shout out and we we'll get a lovely warm welcome from everybody if we've missed you. So we've got Pearl Papaya, Garden Green, and that's a colour that, doesn't, that gets kind of missed off, I think. So it's quite nice to have Garden Green in some DSP to make us, force us to get out Garden Green and to use it. Mixed with Pearl Papaya and Fresh Freesia. Here is a whole page dedicated to Garden Green. So I know not everybody's a green fan. In fact, some people don't like green. So let's turn over the papers and see what we've got. My fan has now become a bit of a, a hooligan and sort of spread out everywhere. Right, on the back we've got, it's all wood grain textures, I've just noticed. <laughs> I've not turned them around in one go. So we've got a diagonal stripe, that's really fun. So a thin a boardwalk, do I call it a boardwalk? Planks. These would be great as a backdrop. Look, if you wanted to take a photo, Here's a card I made earlier. Look, that'd make a great backdrop photograph thing, wouldn't it? Um, there we go. And then this one is like a thicker, thicker lines. Like that. So if you don't like it, you can use the other side. You can mix and match. You can cut out a smaller bit. You know, there's usually a side that you like. This is nice. This is like a whole tree trunk, like silver birch. <laughs> Or something like that. And then some more plankety planks. Plankety plank. And then some thinner ones. So, like I said, again, you know, mix and match that. That looked rather pretty, I think. Lisa loved the, loves the wood grains. There you go. Something for everyone, I reckon. So that's the papers. So look out for the um, Heart and Home Suite, I think it's called. Right, if you want to stick around for a quick... Oh, Joanna says, I have the white plank as a wallpaper sampler for my photo background. Yes, that's what I do. Ah, oh, Molly says, beautiful now. I wish I'd signed up for on stage. I know, just do it. It's, it's always like, if in doubt, and if you can afford it, just do it. Because it's so much, not just the event, but the, the, the sneak peeks and the all that. It's all very exciting. Okay, I'm just trying to clear down a little bit. I don't want to ruin my nice pencils. I'm trying to bring back my scratch paper. Just going to do a quick stamp with this just to see what it looks like. 
not going to make anything, <laughs> she says. But yeah, that will fit. Um, I really just fancy doing it in grey, to be honest. <laughs> Wendy says, I want to live somewhere with an awesome name like Chattanooga. Where did that come from? Is that where Molly's from? Chattanooga in Tennessee. Have I pronounced it right? Chattanooga. Yes, I want to do this in a grey, actually. My son was telling me that there's a school that they've banned in lessons the words actually and oh, what's the other word? What's the other word that kids use, Wendy, that you're like, actually is one of them. Now, actually, I think I don't have very much ink in my... <laughs> Let's go for a darker grey. Margaret said, another bundle to put on my wish list. I think, you know, just... Sometimes you've got the advantage of sometimes waiting and seeing what people make and if that's something that you really want. And remember, you've got a whole catalogue worth of stuff coming. So uh, I just want to see what this looks like. Go this way. Can I fit two on here or not? No, be a bit tight. Tight. Whatever, whatever. People say a lot. Is it distinctive? Good question. So, um, distinctive stamps are a special type of stamp. It doesn't say on there, but it looks as if it is. So, let's remove it and have a look. Whoa, that's bold. Now, I think my ink is rather thick. <laughs> the Americans are obsessed with the word. Literally, it drives me insane. Literally, maybe that's the word. What was the other word I just said? Actually and literally. So I reckon the outline is probably not as supposed to be as bold. So I'm just going to do a light touch and just try it again on the other side to see if I went a bit heavy. Yes, yeah, so apparently this school is kind of, there you go. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it is supposed to come out with a big bold line. Um... So they've yeah they've banned that word <laughs> they've banned the word <laughs> so that's in grey do you know what I, mean? I can't just colour it in and leave it there so I'm not I'm going to just grab some um let's just see let's just see. Okay, am I doing all right with my zoomy in, zoomy out thing? Because it seems to be okay. I've pressed some buttons. Now, it's interesting because it's lines, where it's a partly line stamp. So it doesn't say that it's distinctive, but it's kind of like a distinctive copycat. Um, and the lines are, quite, are deeper than it would be. You think it looks, yeah, it looks distinctive, but I'm not convinced it is. But I'm interested to see. I I'm, I'm don't want to spend ages colouring with you. But I do want to see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm just going to use my thicker end. Hooray, it's not zooming in and out. That's always a good sign. Whoa, look at that. I don't know what I've done to the end of this one. <laughs> my poor, my poor uh, blending pens, I've mistreated you. And, you know, they are, cons they are consumables, so um, literally great colouring, <laughs> says Ellie. Because Ellie speaks like that, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Do you love my colouring? This is my speed colouring. You've heard of speed dating before. This is speed colouring. So what colour would those be? Would they be blue? Yeah, I guess so. Welcome, Elizabeth. Nice to see you from Salt Lake City, Utah. 
place of stamping up. Do you order stamping up and get it really quickly, Elizabeth? Are you a, are you involved with stamping up at all? Okay, this is mint macaron. So if you speed up, did you know that you can speed up videos? It's very handy. So if you speed me up, I'll be even super fast doing my colouring right now. I mean, you can take your time. <laughs> But it just gives you an idea. When things are coloured in, they look so different, don't they, compared to... There we go. What do we think? I think I'm going to have to cut it out now. That's a trouble when I start. So that fits around like so. I've only just cleared my desk and now I'm making a bit of a, a mess. Right, let's pick up my scissors. Oh, I've got a craft a lunching already. Okay, let's bring the baby out because save me taking up the room on my desk. <laughs> Everything's stuck together, together. -da. It is a lovely image. Well, it was interesting to see how it would work out. Because it's because it's got that grey in it. Oh, is this gonna fit through? Yes it is. Okay, so this is interesting. So it's not a snug fit as some of our images have been. This will cut out the outline of the flower. A messy desk is a fun desk. I just made that up, says Ellie. I know, I'm trying hard to clear up after myself. I really am. <laughs> okay, so let's... This is the little mini stump and cut. Cuts out beautifully. Oh, it looks even nice. Oh. Okay, you know what I really want to do now? is just grab out another let's move you out the way little babies and can I grab out another one of these la di da la di di la di da I just stuck my thumb in that Let's just see what that second impression looks like. Okay, good, right. We'll do that. So with a bigger stamp like this, sometimes it's easier to turn the stamp over and put ink to the stamp rather than the other way around. Now, let me just have a little think. Let's go off in this direction here. I usually get my orders in a couple of days, says Elizabeth. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> there we go, and you can just offset that. And then... I've got any. Oh, what colour are you? You're not balmy blue, are you? Anyway, we're just going to have to pretend my little index card. Okay, and what I would do is I'd pop that up to make it stand out some more. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it, Carol? It's a lovely one. Oh, 
Oh, thank you for thumbsing up and sharing the video. Much appreciated. It just helps people to discover me. You know, believe it or not, some people haven't found me yet. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I could use my new Roger McCordums. Let's see what I've got in here. Not got anything quite. Oh, I could use my denim ribbon if I wanted to. That'd look fun. Just give you an idea. Okay, let me just grab that. Sorry, I saw a question about shipping or something. Where do you get your orders from? They come over from Germany. So, as that's not a proper card, I'm just going to pull this one instead. I feel like I've got two layers. Either that or I've got a nick in the top of my card. There we go. So that's our denim ribbon that's already available to us, but this came with the the sweet. So it needs some embellies now. I'm not gonna use my new ones. <laughs> not yet. I think these little silver doofers would be cool if I could find my thing of me. Starting to talk in riddles now. There we go, that will do. That will do. Just knocking out a quick card to show you what you can do. Nice and simple. I could do this for a class, can I? There you go. Thank you so much for joining me for my unboxing and a quick cheeky card. Um, nice to see. I'm going to turn the camera around. Whoops, that wasn't as smooth as I hoped because <laughs> my arm was wrestling, not my literal arm. My camera arm love it keeps getting prettier and prettier says darlene yes good do it for class can i nice and quick and simple simple stamping and you get to use the the blend a little bit of wink of stella would be lovely wouldn't it yes anyways nice to see you all thank you so much for sticking with me i'll be back on your screens tomorrow night at nine o'clock british summertime get yourself uh sorted out on the uh on your phones, did you know, I've learned this recently, there's a world clock. If you swipe across, you could get world clock. If you put in about four o'clock now, or just after four, um, then you can, um, you will know what time it is in the UK. So the clocks change next Sunday to GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. Fun fact. Thank you again. If you'd like, you can't order these just yet, but if you'd like to get your hands on the new catalogue that's coming out for next year, which we'll, we will get at the end, which we'll be able to order soon, then please do get in touch with some of my admin. Please put in my email address so if people from the UK, Germany, France or Austria would like an English catalogue, then let me know. Elizabeth says this stamp would make a beautiful triple layer stamped card. Yes, like a decoupage. That'd be lovely. Thank you, Patricia. I love all your emojis. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Kay, for getting in there. Stampinstarcreations at gmail.com is my email address. You can message me there. Don't forget, thumbs up, always appreciated. Comment. Love it when I get a comment. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe, but there's a bell next to it. You need to hit that and press all if you want to be notified of lives and videos. Take care and God bless. I hope you have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, wherever you are. Hopefully I'll see some of you tomorrow, if not before. Ciao.